Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Gabe here. I have a really nice uh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading for you guys tonight. I am pulling from several decks uh, to give us a very holistic picture of the energy. Um, you guys seem to like Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings, so I uh, have one for you. For the Divine Masculine, I'm pulling from Sacred Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. For the Divine Feminine, I'm pulling from the Divine Feminine Oracle by Megan Watterson. For the overall uh, union energy, I'm pulling from Romance Angels, always at, uh, by Doreen Virtue. That's a classic one right there. And uh, for the block in your union, uh, the Power of Surrender cards. And for uh, a bonus, doing Divine Inspiration from the Rumi Oracle. These are like really beautiful cards, really in depth. And I'm going to read from the book for that one when we get to it, um, just because there's always a, a poem in there and really nice insights. So to get us started, I'm going to pull from uh, the Divine Masculine first. So for the Divine Masculine, the first card is Embrace. And what immediately comes up for me is that the Divine Masculine is really uh, grounding into himself. Uh, you can see the heart here in this, uh, this image here where he's like really grounding into and opening up to himself. Uh, the Divine Masculine is a very like coming into energy and um, uh, Divine masculine or Masculinity on this planet has traditionally been very, um, you know, toxic, I think is the, usually it's referred to as you either have the overly macho man or maybe the overly sensitive man. And um, there's not a lot of like really strong men without uh, being um, like that in, in the middle of the road. And I think these men exist. I feel like these, <laughs> these men who are good ro role models do exist, but there is this expectation of masculinity on the planet uh today of you know being a certain way and you know the divine masculines out there are opening up to and embracing um you know who they are on a really different level right now and i know like for me um this is me like discovering myself um you know i you know have said many times i feel like a teenager all over again to um, not just in the physical sense, but in like the emotional sense of really discovering who I am as a man and what that means for me on the inside and not just what society dictates a man should be. So yeah, um, if you're the divine feminine watching this, you know, uh, your man is coming into himself and that's a good thing because you don't want a little boy. You don't want your divine you don't want your divine little man, a little, like little boy, you want your divine man, you want your divine masculine. And he's coming into that. So, um, you know, we're, I feel like the divine masculines are all kind of going through growing in their own way, depending on where they're at in their journey. It's um, a beautiful thing. For the divine feminine, Our Lady of Exalted Light, St. Bridget. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Oh, this is like some like nun energy right here. Um, the divine feminine seems like she's kind of uh, doing her own thing right now. And this, you know, this is actually very like mirroring. Like this, I think this like light is very, uh, <laughs> very parallel, right? So because you're one, you uh, like divine masculine, divine feminine, you are one. So you're going to mirror each other. So it does make sense that these cards are very similar. Um, you're both kind of going within and doing your own thing right now. And that's okay. Um, this journey is about your, um, your journey with the divine. And that doesn't mean you don't desire your twin flame. You don't have to be a nun. Like that, that is the old way of like seeking God. You do not have to be a nun or a monk or be celibate. Um, you know, you can give your uh, sexuality to God until you find your twin flame or, you know, like to yourself. Um, but you know, it's, um, you know, you don't have to be a nun is what I'm basically trying to say. You can, um, you can do your own thing and be with your twin flame. That's the beauty of it. With a soulmate relationship, like, uh, you have to compromise in some way. You have to give up parts of yourself to make it work. With a twin flame, like, uh, if you're not in harmonious union, it could feel <laughs> like, uh, you know, you're both like combat, you know, it can feel toxic. It can feel damaging. 
Uh, but it, when you reach harmonious union with your twin flame, which means you've reached a part, a place in yourself where you are harmonious with yourself, harmonious with God, um, you can uh, experience that like perfect divine love with your twin flame where you don't, um, you know, have to give up any part of yourself. You can com be your complete full self without, um, you know, compromise. And like, you can have this energy of I'm doing it, I'm doing it uh, with me and God and be with your twin flame. It's not a separate thing. All right. I love it. Uh, the Divine Masculine coming together. This is a great card. This is a very like union energy card. And, um, you know, you have the first card is like coming, coming into and then coming together. And this is perfect because... You know, as you come into yourself, Divine Masculine, or Divine Feminine, as your Divine Masculine comes into himself, you know, your Twin Flame is going to see you more clearly. You're going to come together because you are coming into yourself. And you coming into yourself is you and your Twin Flame coming together because you are, again, one. Um, so, yeah, this is just a nice little confirmation that as you embrace yourself, as you, um, you know, this is kind of like that light from the last two cards is you like bring it together and you know have your union love it all right the enlightened feminine my gut instinct is wise beyond reason i trust my intuition to guide me dakini yeah on this one it's the divine feminine is using her um intuition to guide her you know through life and that and god will god is a very uh communicative communicative with the divine feminine like um you know often the divine feminine has the vision in the union and god like gives that to the divine feminine and sometimes the masculine has his own peace but um the divine feminine often has like uh more of the like direct vision and communication with god while the divine masculine is more on the execution side of things, like bringing it to life in the physical world. And so the divine feminine is also like coming into herself and, um, you know, using that to guide her um, to God, to herself and her twin flame. Beautiful. All right. Next card. Open up. Yes, divine masculines. This is um, a sign. I'm moving through this too. Open up, open up to yourself, open up to that intimate level of yourself, your feelings, and like really get to know yourself here. Um, this is how you're going to have that deep um, relationship with your twin flame that you're really desiring. And if you're a divine feminine watching this and you're thinking, how can I get my masculine to open up? It's you doing the same thing. You know, it's you getting to know yourself very well not looking outside of yourself and saying, he won't open up. You turn around, turn it around and look at yourself and say, where am I not opening up to myself? Where am I not being my true self? Where am I not trusting myself? Where am I not being intimate and being honest about my feelings here? And, you know, when you embrace that, um, you can have, you know, a much deeper union because, you know, you're going to know each other on that soul level when you recognize yourself. Cool. <laughs> this is perfect. The goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Yes. Um, knowing who you are um, is how you're going to create your union. It's how you're going to create anything in your life with God is knowing who you are. If you are going around and you don't know who you are, your twin flame isn't going to recognize you because you don't recognize yourself. There's going to be all of that confusion within of, you know, am I this? Am I that? You know, and it's okay if you're still in the phases of figuring it out. But um, ultimately, um, you know, of course, in Miracle says the ego asks, who am I? Because it doesn't matter if you're, you know, masculine, feminine, if you're, you know, a unicorn or whatever it is that you feel like you might be or an artist or, you know, ultimately you are a divine being. And that's where you need to start is claim yourself as a divine person, a divine child of God. 
and every, everything else flows from there. That's how you align yourself with your creator and yourself and then God, because you as a divine child are always going to be growing and expanding. You're always going to be learning new things about yourself. So don't take it as like, well, I need to get to know myself. I need to know all of my likes and dislikes. I need to go through every food and make sure I know that. It's not that level of detail. It's not that, um, it's not the outside that you're looking for. It's the knowledge, the knowledge and the acknowledgement of who you are on the inside. And when you can acknowledge yourself as that divine being, that divine child of God, who is worthy of all of this love, worthy of God's love, worthy of your self, your self love, worthy of your twin flames love, then that's how you're going to align. And uh, yeah, you'll have your union. All right, perfect. Oh my God, the like, okay. This light and, okay. All of these things are very centered on the heart, right? Of course, it's the sacred tarot of the heart, but this is very perfect. You have the embrace card with that light there. You have coming together with the light. You have open up with this light up here, you know, getting to know yourself, that knowledge right there. And then you have heart chakra. Yeah, the divine masculine is really working on his heart, his emotions, getting to know himself. It goes all the way back to that first card. And, you know, heart chakra healing can take some time to balance. A lot of us, um, you know, grow up and have a lot of heartache, either through relationships, through family relationships. And it can be hard to, like, open up the, that space and heal, especially for uh, masculines who grew up in a very, like, you need to be rough and tough and don't feel anything environment. It's very hard to, like, you know, come out of that shell and recognize how sensitive and emotional that men can be and should be we're both we're not opposites of the feminine you know uh we're complements to the feminine we are like that candy coated shell to the ooey gooey center it doesn't mean we don't have feelings and emotions and everything else it just means that you know we need to uh you know be we're also like playing that uh outer protective role and so we still have those same emotions we still are sensitive and we have to, you know, feel those feelings in order to actually be strong. Uh, you know, a very weak man is someone who's <laughs> who's like burying his emotions and feeling all angry, but he's going to crumble under a lot of pressure because he doesn't have the emotional capability to like actually feel his feelings when he needs to. Um, when your man has that balance in his life, then he's going to, you know, heals his heart chakra. He's going to be a much more like stable you know, caring, supportive man than just this man who's trying to live up to some standards of society. Um, yeah, I like it. We're uh, healing our hearts as men tonight. And uh, for the woman, for the, the women out there, the divine feminines, uh, white buffalo calf woman, the uh, prophetess, prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass, the path of love, is true abundance. Yes. Again, it's emphasis on the heart um, because that's what's going to guide you. Your heart is going to guide you to your twin flame, not your head, not, um, you know, your, your, uh, inst <laughs> not anything else. Not like, oh, he looks pretty, not the, the lust or anything like that. Your heart, your heart will know your twin flame, not your eyes. And, um, you know, you have to be willing to see it uh, and see yourself fully. And you can only do that when you're willing to see yourself fully. So love that. Let's uh, move on to the overall union energy. Children, your love life is being affected by children. I keep getting this card and um, I... I've been kind of unclear as to what it means. <laughs> like for my for my particular union, I um but I feel like it does have something to do with like childhood healing is actually what's coming up through right now is uh you know, healing childhood wounds. Basically, you're healing things that are coming from your parents, from your mom and dad, uh think um things that you have experienced in childhood and um yeah, what comes up for me is like family relationships. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of like a, 
difficult dynamics with uh, my my parents growing up and you know those leave a lasting impression on you uh, whether you believe it or not whether you've seen a healthy vibrant um, you know relationship or not you know the relationship that your parents have does leave a lasting impression on you as to that dynamic and um, a lot of a lot of the time the um, the blocks to your union are found in your relationship with your parents and all things can be healed uh, by looking at your relationship with God because that's you're basically projecting you, uh, your upsets with God onto your parents but they're a pretty good representation of like what upsets are happening in your life so um, if you're looking for a place to heal look into your childhood and those uh, relationships there and for some of you, maybe this is like, there are actually like children involved in your situation. Um, but just what's coming through for me is more like childhood um, traumas and healing and things like that. And if you are going through something that is a trauma, I recommend mindalignmentprocess.org uh, because that is uh, specifically for the treatment of uh, and the healing of trauma. So moving forward, the block and your union Surrender to Miracles. I got this card. <laughs> I keep getting this card. The last uh, reading I did with this deck also was Surrender to Miracles. So I'm just calling in a bunch of miracles right now. And I have been uh, reading from A Course in Miracles too. So, um, you know, just surrender to miracles happening in your life. They are abundant in your life. If, some, if a miracle doesn't occur in your life, something's gone wrong. There's been something... Uh, there is a wrong action taken. There is a misbelief, but miracles are natural and they happen all the time. And just be open to how it happens. Um, if you try to control a miracle, then you don't get a miracle. If you're open to receiving a miracle, then it may come in unexpected ways. So just be open to it. That's the block. <laughs> the block is surrendering to beautiful, wonderful miracles happening in, in your life love it okay and divine inspiration tonight passion for purpose yes um I i'm gonna read the uh this is actually card number two so it's gonna be real easy to get to that i'm gonna read the Rumi poem associated with this um but i already have some feelings about like what this is pointing to love like life flows through the heart feel the thrill of the flow and say nothing. Yeah. Um, this is passion for a purpose. This is passion for your life, passion for your life's purpose. And um, that is one of the number one things that you can do to attract your twin flame is to go deep into your life purpose because you're meant to do your life purpose with your twin flame. Um, it may be a complimentary thing. Uh, it may not be directly partnering with them as far as like, you know, your doing the exact same thing at the exact same time, but your twin flame is a huge support system for your life purpose. And so when you start doing your life purpose, your twin flame is automatically going to be magnetized to that because they're like, whoa, you're doing your thing and I wanna be a part of that too. I'm supposed to be a part of that. And they will, even, even though, even if they don't know, you might think, well, they don't know what I'm doing. They don't know what I'm doing, Gabe. But they do because they are one with you. They know, even if they don't consciously know, they feel that pull in their heart and they are guided directly back to you. So, you know, go with the flow, you know, don't force the river or anything like that. Just go with your flow and, uh, you know, find your purpose. And if you're, you know, thinking, how do I do that? You can um, join Life Purpose class at TwinFlamesUniverse.com and really just explore, like, what is the dream in your heart? It does take work. You know, it does take, you know, effort to, you know, bring your life purpose to work, uh, to life. But if, uh, you know, but you'll find that your life purpose is all you really want to do. It's going to be your greatest joy. And you might have uh, blocks to that, but that's why, you know, uh, we have the mirror exercise. That's why we have life purpose class to help us go within and find those, those blocks and, uh, you know, root them out so that we can take those like guided steps in the outer world. Um, you know, it's 
you know, just living your life from a place of doing what your heart desires. I love it. All right. This was a great reading. Everybody's like coming into themselves. Like we've got, we've got some potential healing over here, you know, your union energy. Uh, you're, you're expecting miracles here. And then uh, you're opening up to your purpose, going with the flow. Nice. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. If uh, you'd like your own personalized uh, reading, something similar to this, uh, you can find my services at sacredtemplinunion.com where I am also a certified Ascension coach. I can help you through uh, your walks to love and into your own harmonious union. So uh, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.